Hello YouTube, welcome to the latest episode. A lot of the stuff I'm not going to film, I'm going to have pictures at the end, so don't miss the pictures. Now we got this made, this was hard to cut that hole out. I went through some cutter blades and this stuff is not thick at all. What did I say, it's 3.30 seconds or whatever. And this stuff right here is 5.30 seconds because it's over eighth of an inch steel. You can tell it's thicker than the other steel. See so around the corner? You can tell that's thicker than you never have a pointer. There's one laying right here. Uh, how we did this? Once we made this, we got it centered up. We made some lines. And we just took our drill bit by hand and we went through here on the corners and in the middle. And we twist it by hand. Make like a little point. So then what we did is we took our little awl, scratch awl, the latest one we built, we got to post the video on this, and we did that old, because uh, it's really fine like a needle, we did that if we can do this, like that, make a circle, because these don't have to be exact, they're going to be bigger, uh, three, you, you can do the math, three millimeter screw grosser, and that's a three millimeter bit, which I have one, uh, I actually have some millimeter bits, high speed steel. Uh, these are going to be like an eighth of an inch because we want some wiggle room, you know, in case we messed up. But we had it pretty good. Uh, we should have a picture somewhere. We we'll use a magnet on the center here, three of them, to hold this down. Of course, that's a Sharpie marker. The big magnum giant one that paints like a paintbrush. But I figure we'll talk a little bit, show more pictures in some of these. See, there's the bottom where I scratch in there. This was polished. And I even used them little sanding discs you get with your Dremel kit. You know, where you bolt them on. or little round circular sanding pads. Then we took our abrasive wheel, homemade wheel thing, and just brushed it. We do not want this shiny like chrome. We just want brushed steel to hide the scratches. It is a stove. It's going to get used. So there you go. You have more room at the bottom because this is three and a half stove. This is three inch, and this is taller. I can't give it to you right now. And I mentioned in a video we're going to have a ledge down there. So it'll look okay with it setting up towards the top. Uh, the door opening. I think we're going to go to the big drill press when we get it ready. We're going to just drill with a drill bit a bunch of holes because this will cover the jagged hole. You know, say this is on here. I think you know what I mean. It doesn't matter how it's on there. If you drill further out into here, like an eighth of an inch, you're never going to see that jagged hole in there. So that's going to make that real easy to do because I am not cutting through that with a dribble. Okay, let's get to work. We've talked about enough. Look for a lot of pictures on this episode. It makes it a lot easier. We're using this old thing. The battery's down low. We're charging the battery. We're charging the battery for this. Uh, because amazingly, if you look at the fluff there, the swarf or whatever, that drills pretty good. Those are my uh, cobalt bits. I should be able to drill through this for these bolts without having to go to a drill press. That's a lot of work. You're standing up. I'm old. I get hurt. I'm in a chair right here. I got it. See how we got a wedge in the desk drawer? <laughs> using it for a vice you know I need one of the woodworkers vice it's not that big thing like you put a 2 by 4 in because here's my other vice just sitting here okay we talked about it now just look for all the pictures and thanks for watching
quick tip if you watch the whole video this is called spot drawing you can almost see the circle where I scratch with the scratch all like right here it's called spot drilling you can always correct it you can always kind of angle one way or another you can do that with a big bit that way when you start with your next bit and we are using uh, 332nd, we might go to 764th, we might go straight to 8th inch bit. Because these are my cobalt bits. We don't get paid to show any of those. I have not broken only one of these. I have a big set of these. And I've got them just for spare. So I bought two of these, like $60 worth of bits. 20 bucks and 40 some bucks at a Menards. I got tired of breaking those cheapy bits. You know what I mean? But, I do have to say, I always tell people that. When you go to Harbor Freight, some of their high-speed bits are, are pretty good. Like that little ones in the pill bottle. I showed them in another video. And those quarter-inch bits, like you put your hole saw, those are great starter bits on a drill press. They got that flat spot for your hole saw kit. I've got one of them, and I touched up. I've drilled a lot of holes in them. They're, whatever they made them high speed still, they did make them pretty quality. But you got a nice little parts tray. You got two lengths of bolts there. Okay, enough with the quick tip. It went into a ramble there. <laughs>